Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do the lube filter replacement change for the 2020 and newer Detroit Diesel 13, 15, and 16 liter engines using the Fleet Guard LF17800 lube filter cartridge. This is the Fleet Guard aftermarket cross reference part for the Detroit Diesel DDE A4711800009 part and also for the DDE a47118002009 part. Our aftermarket fleet guard parts previous to the 2020 engines would be the LF17511, but for the 2020 and newer engines, you will need to purchase the LF17800. Some tools that will be required for this change would be no different than what you would currently use for the OE service part. In our fleet guard kit, you will receive the cartridge for the replacement and you will also receive the o-ring for the housing lid and the copper washer for the oil drain plug you will need a torque wrench to torque the lid down to the proper installation torque you also want to have a drain pan so that when you remove the oil filter cartridge it will not cause a mess and drip oil everywhere so now you will remove the lid from the housing You will want to slowly pull the lube cartridge out of the housing and let it drip some of the oil that's in it down into the housing so that it does not make a mess. Once that is dripped for just a moment, you can pull the cartridge up and place it in your pan. Now you will want to remove the cartridge from the lid. So now you want to remove the o-ring that was on the lid and replace it with the fleet guard o-ring that comes in the kit and then you will simply install the fleet guard lf17800 exactly like you do the OE Detroit part. It simply snaps into the lid and then you slowly install the filter down into the housing and rotate until you feel the threads engage. And you can tighten the filter lid down and then use your regular ratchet to snugly install the lid. After it makes contact, you will use the torque wrench to torque it down to the proper 55 newton meters that is directed on the OE lid. Once that has been completed and the lid is torqued down properly, you will now want to look around for any leaks and wipe down any potential oil that may have been dropped on any part of the engine and you're ready to start your engine. Once you've started your engine, you want to observe if there are any leaks as the engine is running. If there are no leaks, then you have properly completed the filter service installation change for the Fleet Guard LF17800. And always remember, nothing guards like Fleet Guard.